going to incorporate my granny's famous noodles. Done. Okay, let's go figure out what this place is gonna look like. It's gonna look awesome. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, that purple with that red, I look yeah. good. Now we've got the menu wrapped up, we have to figure out what we're gonna do with this room. This is gonna be the stripes going yeah. zigzag across okay. the wall. I wanna do something ballsy. I might also do some sheet metal. What kind of stuff do you wanna do for metal, though? I mean, what would you wanna I do? I would just get sheet metal and cut it and bend it until it looked interesting and slap it on the wall. The front of the house and the menu definitely have to have some kind of cohesion. Marcus right now is in a wing it type attitude, and it scares me because I don't know if it will reflect my menu. I want to do the logo center of that wall as big as I can get it. I want it to be the first thing that everybody sees. We need to brighten up the space. Let's so. go a little bluer. I, like when we were in Paris, I feel Lamps like we saw this. Lamps are sweet. Like they need something kind of cute and meadowy. And what do you think? It's that's so pretty. That's, I think we're done here. Let's right? go get some food. Okay. I'm fixing to go grocery shopping. I need to get my ingredients for 100 yes. Gordon for it. Yeah? Yeah. No biscuit, no biscuit. The store does not have my flour for the recipe for my cobbler. Get xanthium gum, because if we had to make that flour work, we will. Xanthium gum. And of course, they're probably not going to have it. Of course, oh, here's this. To cook gluten-free, you cannot use grains, because they all contain a protein known as gluten. Sir, uh, I need to know your ground Italian sausage. Is that grass-fed and? I don't have any grass-fed meat here. I can't use your grain-fed meats. What's plan B? <laughs> I have no grass-fed meats. I have no menu now. I am now even more scared. The first thing we need to purchase is meat. Let's do 30 pounds of that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The money that we spend on this meat is going to determine the budget for the rest of the menu. 15 to 20 That's pounds. half of our meat? Yeah, but we have 100 people coming to this restaurant tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. 100 hungry little lambs. Duck next. $9 a piece. I need 26 legs. Here we go. Two more. That little guy sucks. Let's go. Okay. Keep telling me prices so I can kind of keep an idea of what you're spending. I'm trying to keep track of our budget, especially because I want to make sure that I have enough money for decor. And what's the price on there? Uh, price? Nikki, I think we spent double what we, what we should spend. Jenna, I have no clue what we spent, but we have to make this work. We're at the checkout and watching the numbers, and they're climbing higher and higher and higher. The total is 17.51. I'm not going to have any money to spend on decor. Grown with no antibiotics. Boneless chicken breasts. That's it. I don't have any protein set my chicken, so yeah. we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing fried chicken for everybody. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die now. I'm still scared. Eh, you should be. Wow. I just got back from food shopping. Dana's shopping for the rest of the decor. I walk into the famished lamp. This is our restaurant. It's my chef's coat. I have my work cut out for me tonight. I have meat that needs to be prepped. I have apples that need to be peeled, cored, and quartered. Holy And I really need Dana to come back here and do those noodles. That needs to happen before we leave. I head back to the space. Walking in for the first time, they have paint on the walls. Marcus will definitely like this. Yeah, I see it. I have a lot of work ahead of me. How you doing? It's a big load off my shoulders. When Lee, my sous chef, shows up. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm prepping, but I don't want to take too much time and still have no proteins. At the store, they did not have any grass-fed meats, so I'm actually going to be calling a butcher up right now. Hello, I'm a chef out of New York, and I'm looking to get a hold of about 20 pounds grass-fed, boneless, short rib. When do you need that by? When can you get it to me? I can get that to you tomorrow morning. I'd yeah, like to get right. it tonight. I don't know how good that worked out, but it said they got it. So I'm at the store to pick out things for the front of the house. Opening a restaurant, I want to bring in like some rustic elements. What are those? These are manzanita branches. Exactly what I was um, looking for. I want to create almost like a chandelier. They are $250 uh, per branch. Okay, okay. I had no idea they would be that expensive. I was hoping to come in with more. And I only have $400 to spend. Those are $8 a branch. $8 a branch. That's much better. <laughs> 20 branches. Okay, great. And that's another 10? Yes. Okay. okay. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. My idea for the front of the house, it's very industrial. And the one place that I might actually be able to pull some kind of decor off is the hardware store. Lots of fun. I'm waiting for my beef short rib. I'm very nervous. And all of a sudden, Scott comes in through the door. 
Fred, how are you, sir? Doing good. How are you, sir? How are things going for you? So far, I'm making barbecue sauce for a short rib I do not have. You haven't gotten your meat? Gluten-free cooking requires grass-fed meats. Uh, the grocery store did not have grass-fed meat. What's the backup plan? I am definitely gambling. Right now, I'm sitting with no short ribs, and I'm taking a big risk and not changing up my menu. You're going to have over 100 people standing outside these doors. Good luck, brother. Thanks, sir. I just got back from shopping. I think it's going to turn out the way we wanted it to. I have a lot to do. I need to get as much done as possible with the logo. What's up? I'm gonna need you to come back here and do some noodles, though, so you better... I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that. Nikki wants me to help her with the noodles, but I can't have all these little projects going on. I need to focus. I'm worried about that.